Hello everyone, it's fundraiser time at Honey Badger Radio and we're asking our viewers to help us out with promotional costs for three upcoming events. First, I will be traveling to Toronto for GGNTO, Gamergate in Toronto, with Antonio Santangelo, our videographer. Hopefully while I'm there, we'll be able to interview Gregory Allen Elliott on his experience of being accused of sending mean tweets on the internet and almost facing jail time over it. Next, Honey Badger Brigade will be going to Austin to help Open Society Gaming cover their Save Point panel at South by Southwest, and hopefully we'll be able to interview Mercedes Carrera while we're there. Finally, myself, Hannah, and Allison will be attending Theron Meyer's Simon Fraser Advocacy for Men and Boys event in April. Hopefully she'll be open to having a round table discussion with all three of us. Without coverage, these events will be forgotten. The communities who made them happen smeared without opposition by media or the issues ignored altogether. We need to record our history for prosperity because we can't let the media have the final word. And now here's Antonio with a bit more on this project. Hello, my name is Antonio, and you may have noticed recently that Honey Badger Radio has been uploading high quality video content. The first one being the Gamergate in Miami, and the second one was the SFU AMB in Vancouver. I was the one who filmed those videos. Documentary filmmaking has been my passion for the last 10 years. Initially, I actually got started out filming skateboarding, but quickly moved on to doing things like social political content. My favorite thing about it too is just going out to these interesting places and meeting these people that are have all these unique and different ideas. And I think my favorite part still even more than that, is just getting controversial opinions that, you know, even if I don't necessarily agree with them, I still like to put them out there because I think it's important. My goal as a documentarian is to cover socially and politically relevant events in the most objective manner possible. I want both parties to get both of their sides heard in an objective manner. And in today's media climate, it can be very difficult to find any type of outlet that will let you do something like that. What matters most to me is that I can cover unique, thought-provoking content, and in the YouTube comments it seems like many of you actually agree. At the end of this month is the first Gamergate in Toronto. I love grassroots organizations like this because I get to talk to what the everyday person thinks, unlike the rest of the media who talks at them rather than hearing what they have to say. We'll hopefully be paying South by Southwest a visit and get some interesting footage. I think it's great to see an official platform that both sides can talk on. And beyond just that, I think there's going to be some interesting guests that we can talk to and get their opinions. After that, I'll be going up to Vancouver, Canada again and covering an event that Allison Tiemann of Honey Badger Radio was invited to speak at by Theron Meyer of the Simon Fraser University Advocacy Group for Men and Boys. Hope I said that right. On a personal note, I think it will be really cool to actually meet Allison in person. But beyond that, I think it's really interesting to see what goes on besides just the talk, all the other ordinary mundane stuff that I still think is interesting and should be covered. Without somebody there to cover these events and put the video online, not only do less eyes see it, but they just kind of get erased out of history. And an important note on that is you never know what you're going to cover, and some of these things that you cover can go down in history as something really important, and at least to me, I'm a bit biased, but I think it's important to always be there and cover these interesting things going on. But it is not a cost-free endeavor. Everything you've seen so far has actually been filmed with my own equipment. Uh, the first event down in Miami, I just kind of picked up my camera with what I had and did some filming. And I, not I noticed some problems, so I upgraded to a different external setup, a new camera cage, and I thought it would make it a little bit more ergonomic, which it actually did, and it made it way heavier, and I missed a lot of shots because I was fatigued all day. So, what I ended up doing was selling my GH2, and uh, because of technical difficulties with that, that made me miss a lot of stuff in uh, both, you know, events. And I bought a Panasonic GH4. After that, I needed manual aperture control for my lens, so I bought a Metabone Speed Booster, which is very expensive. Next, I bought an external viewfinder from Zacuto, so that I can go out and film events, and it makes it more ergonomic, so I can put the camera on my shoulder. That pretty much drained me dry. I don't really have any money left and I'm not interested in spending all that money. I kind of have bills to pay. So, where you guys come in is it allows us to actually purchase the rest of the equipment we need. 
Um, so you may notice there was actually a lot of issues with the sound on both videos. I'm kind of disappointed with how terrible it sounded. Um, but I think we can actually improve that quite considerably with some simple purchases. Uh, so it would go towards expenses for sound gear, it allows us to get a new laptop so we can actually go out and stream the events live, and while I'm out on the field I can edit videos and upload them. Because uh, actually in Miami there were some things we wanted to do with uploading videos and clips but we couldn't do it because I just don't have a laptop to do it. Uh, so that would help Honey Badger so we can actually do that kind of stuff. Um, the next thing is lens filters, batteries, and all kinds of other mystic things that uh, crop up with filmmaking. Uh, oh yeah, and the expenses to actually get there because that money will cover, cover our travel costs as well. Without a doubt, there will be higher production quality. I guarantee it. And like I said, I love doing this type of work and being able to go and cover these events lets me be one step closer to my dream of being a filmmaker. Thank you. Thanks, Antonio. And now we all know what you really want to hear is what are the rewards. Well, we're trying something a little different this time. Because of tax issues, it's possible that if a contributor contributes $500 and gets a t-shirt in exchange, we'll be taxed on the full $500. Because that's a $500 t-shirt. So, what we're going to do instead is offer the top 25 contributors gifts. The content of the gifts are on a need-to-know basis, but here is what I'm authorized to tell you. The top 25 donors will receive a crypto gift. It's probably a t-shirt. The top 10 contributors will receive Enigma envelopes. What's inside? Something awesome. And the top three contributors will get, yeah, that's right. Our mystery bags are making a return. What's in the bag? I don't know. Why are you asking me? So go to feedthebadger.com and let's get this thing done. Thank you. <laughs>